Yeah, buddy. What's going on, guys? It's Childish. Ooh, back at it again. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Here we go. So, next episode, Subscriber Showcase, we got Mr. Levelinato. Bitches and bottle. <laughs> all right. My man. So, I about blew a gasket this morning. Dick was like 22 inches, right? Because I'm scrolling through my thing. And I see him on my arena list. So, we are going to do a quick, quick video on the uh, arena fight. But beforehand, we're going to go ahead and do a little analyzation of his team. So, he is rocking uh, Megan, Hua, Roke, and Akasis. Okay, so we'll just kind of go through the list on his units. Um, Hua is his rep monster, people. So, for those that are looking for a Hua... Uh, to add on to their list, if you think this guy's worthy enough to be on your list, you can go ahead and put your information, uh, your IGN, your rep monster, if he's five star, six star, the level, whatever, um, any information that can help you um, get him on board with you, okay? So uh, he's repping Hua with uh, quite a bit of attack here, almost 2,000, and he's set up for uh, swift energy. So um, he. I don't know if he's using him for PvP or dungeon primarily, but he's going all attack, even though he has um, swift energy. Um, so I'm assuming that he's rocking the swift setup because he knows um, the unit is good with speed, but he got you know uh, a nice uh, six star rune here uh, that kind of helps you know make that decision. Um, in addition, uh, you know some good subsets here, good percentages. So definitely you can tell this guy. Uh, follows the uh, typical guidelines of what it takes to make a quality unit. Um, as far as, you know, for PvP, I don't, is it optimal? Well, he's, he makes it all attack, and, you know, he's using a swift set, which is good, but if I was to use it for uh, arena, uh, I mean, he's probably using it for both, but if I was to go arena, I would go violent focus or fatal focus and just really emphasize on the raw damage because if you're doing swift, and trying to get the uh, up and up on the speed, that's good. But unless your your full blown team is um, based off of speed, you're not gonna, in my opinion, you're not gonna see the real strength of you know a unit like this. So this, you know, swift set with speed rune um, plus a speed leader, you really see this unit shine. That being said, all attack here, he's gonna do some damage when he gets some hits in there, and it's still gonna work out good. Next up, you got a Casus rocking the uh, despair focus setup. She got some speed here, she got some attack, and she got some hit points. A well-balanced Akasis unit is known for providing the shield that absorbs inflicted damage. And then, of course, it's enhanced, uh, so it reduces the uh, chance of uh, critical hit. So this is going to be a good way to stop my uh, Della from going ahead and, and you know, hitting, um, you know, hitting hard there, okay? Um, he got his Megan, so rocking the swift focus setup like most, speed, hit point, and hit point, um, he's going to be suffering here as far as landing his toad poison, but I'm assuming that he's just using her for the buff. Um, if I were to make some changes, I'd, I'd bust out a six-star accuracy rune or any accuracy rune that would help out with that. Um, that being said, take a look at his substats, okay? So he is going speed, hit point, hit point, but as you can see here, all of his runes have accuracy. Now, why is this uh, an important thing here? Because... If he's rocking all these subsets with accuracy, he does not need to focus on the six-star rune with accuracy. Okay, now, could he do it to max out and get 100%? Yes. That would be, to me, that would be a big thing because you got, you know, an opportunity to, um, you know, have 100% accuracy versus Rena's and Chloe's that, you know, you're trying to take out their, their, their buffs. But I'm sure that 60% accuracy still does good for what he needs to do. So I like the setup here. Speed, hit point, hit point, since his substats are really good with the accuracy. If his substats were not, then I would say go uh, accuracy on the sixth slot. Okay, moving on. Um, you know, obviously a well-upgraded rogue. Everyone got their rogue upgraded at this stage. Attack all the way around. Fatal Blade. Typical setup, but it works because it is strong. So that should be good. Um, the only thing to really, other than that, pay attention to is, uh, the speed on him. So here's the, here's the bad thing. Um, you know, he has 150 something speed. Um, I know that I'm rocking about 180, uh, 180, yeah, something like 180 speed. So, um, this fight is going to be a little, uh, a little bit different, uh, in the sense that 
I know that I'm going to get the lead. That being said, for anybody who's been following me forever, you know that when I have a when I have a Megan as an opponent, I I go I don't ta- I don't utilize my speed leader. I just take my Megan versus their Megan and try to try to duke it out. So what we're going to do is um, like we always do when we have a, a, a team that is focused on two single target fire based DPS, we still bring Ardella, but we bring Neil with her and. Uh, my Megan's boost along with um, her base speed, or sorry, Megan's boost along with Neil's base speed will get her shield up on Ardella and keep her alive um, so that we don't have to worry about the DPS of uh, everybody else. So what I'll go ahead and do here is actually go for a Casus first, even though it might be smart to, um, oh, I got the, uh, let me see if I can get a stun here. Nope. So I'm going to go, uh, if I can, well, it was, looks like she already got her buff up, so um, we're good on the on the thing here. I'm going to go ahead and go for uh, um, the, win, the win unit here, because I know that I can, I can get, some, get some nice damage here. So take a look at that. I removed the critical damage um, buff, so I was able to take her out. Um, we need her, we need, uh, Neil's violence spec to go off here because we have, we're, we're, we're getting ready to have, Ooh, shit. I just got lucky there. We're getting ready to have the, uh, uh, thing wear off the shield wear off. So, um, so far so good. Um, since I can't put the shield up, I'm going to try to stun Hua. That's all right. So Hua can, um, do some pretty good damage here. Let's see if we get a lucky crit. Nope, but we did enough damage to go ahead and take this fight down. So, Mr. Level Inato, good fight, sir, good fight. But it looks like uh, my uh, my offensive setup, um, you know, allow me to analyze your team and counter it. That being said, um, he really, really has a good team. I like the lineup. Um, rocking a, a, a Megan um, with two very, very heavy defense units is good. Um, I think his... I think, I don't even know if he had, let me see if he had some other options here. Um, let's see. So he does, yeah, so he does have um, uh, the Fire Phoenix in addition to um, Amon. Let's see if he has any other stellar units here. So obviously, you know, he's, he is, his Amon's looking good, his uh, Phoenix, he's getting there, he, his Phoenix uh, runes are not upgraded as as um, the other ones, but um, I think he has the opportunity to take like a nasty, uh, um, you know, if he, if he gets a tons of, you know, violent runes, going violent spec on Amon and Perma, um, two heavy hit point um, doers, and, and, you know, he got the cases, he got three, and he got a lot of combinations here. Um, to utilize with his team, I'd like I'd like to see um, Perma and Amon, uh, you know, in the future with a, a few better runes and maybe different rune specs to be in his uh, in his arena uh, team because I think they're doable. But I, I understand that he's using he's uti- utilizing his best units, and that's obviously the smart thing to do. So he has a lot of opportunities here with Soha to go. Um, despair here. He's rocking fatal energy, but we know that uh, despair focus will be a really good uh, unit for countering. Um, and then, of course, utilizing this unit as well for despair would be um, good as well. So, a uh, lot of lot of different options for this guy. I'm not gonna point them all out because I'm actually <laughs> I'm actually getting sitting here in front of work, getting ready to uh, hop in there. But um, I realized that I got to work so early that I had enough time to make this video. So. Um, shout out to you, Level Inato. Uh, thank you for, uh, letting me make this and, uh, hopefully, uh, um, we can help you out here with some friends. So again, guys, you've seen his units. He is going beast mode here. If you would like a six star Hua with uh, a good amount of, uh, uh, stats there and have some room and he has some room, go ahead and put your information down below your IGN, your level, your rep monster, anything and everything that can help him choose you. 
Um, he's definitely um, shooting for that end game, and he's definitely trying to uh, improve all of his units. So, um, obviously, with a couple of really good units here, five star monsters and whatnot, if he gets those leveled up, six star, um, you're obviously going to have some more opportunity to utilize more awesome rare units. All right. So, again, guys, thank you all for your support. This is the second. Uh, uh, subscriber showcase here with Level and Auto. Thanks again, Level and Auto, for letting me do this. Take care, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Yeah, buddy.